Hello, welcome back to my channel. It's me. Hi, I am the problem. I'm currently sitting on top of po package package mountain, and today we have a few volunteers coming over to help us break down these boxes, organize them a little bit so we can start distributing them to our local colonies. So our policy here at Miss Dixie's Kitten Rescue in our TNR program is if you feed them, we will fix them. And so generally, there's a doggo. I don't want you to calm down here. It's not for you. So we have people fill out a, a request form. They say, hey, we have X number of feral kitties, community kitties that we need help getting fixed. We go out, we get them fixed, and then they continue on taking care of them. But a lot of the people that we do end up helping are people who, for lack of putting it in better terms, sometimes have to choose between feeding the cats and feeding themselves. And, you know, when you're working in what we do in, in helping cats, the way you help cats the most is by helping the people who help the cats. And we are not in the work of helping people primarily, so we are not equipped to do anything else except help them care for the cats that they are caring for, which Cardboard Mountain here is gonna help us do, and I'm so excited to distribute these. It's like the week before Christmas or holiday, whichever holiday you celebrate. I don't really celebrate any, but down here, Christmas is kind of the bigger one, so we're gonna distribute some gifts and yeah, have some happy people and some happy kitties. Let's do it. This is why we can't have nice things. What are you doing? Britta! So all of the volunteers are here and we are about 30 minutes in and we have made quite the progress. Our lovely volunteers, smaller, and look at all this food in Bethany. So much food. I'll check back in maybe in another 30 minutes, who knows. Okay, it is now like 20 minutes later and we are, we are making a bunch of progress. Okay, this is where all the packages were. This is what we got. All of this food is gonna go to Feral Kitties. And we have the final package. The last one, the last package. Dramatic music over it. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Heck yeah. And then we take this. I live in <laughs> so we're from everywhere. All of this cardboard. Wow. So, of course, in the midst of all the chaos, we had a foster whose mom found a little kitty in the rain the other day. And she reached out and asked if we could take her. And we did, we can. And she's gonna go to Bethany's for foster. Look at this little girl. And uh, our volunteer, Brianna, named her. What What did you decide? Cardboard. Cardboard. <laughs> Full name cardboard box. But we'll just call her little cardboard. Look at her little side profile. Look at her little nosy. Oh my goodness. She's such a good girl. And the whiskers. Let's get you inside. Hi. You know it looks like your face was injured. Hi. Oh, you're sweet girl. Can I see your face? Uh, I think you're just sick. Oh, my scratches. We will get you taken care of, little girl. Love you. I think between all of the donations we have, we have six colonies that we would like to divide this between that are high need. These are caretakers that really prioritize the cats that they feed and this is going to be an awesome gift to them. So we're going to divide this up and then make some deliveries to them to feed the kitties. Yay!
Okay, so this is what we're working with. We have divided all of the food up into six groups, just like Bethany said. Um, one of them is a double because it's Cowboy and Bebop and Wolvie and Storms. If you remember Wolvie, he had the eye issue. Their colony and they there's two homes that feed there. We've got all this going to colonies here in the next day or so. And then all of this here and this over here and this over here that's all going to be available and headed to different shelters or one organization where other people can come pick it up if they need it so thank you let's go play santa and deliver some of these packages all right we are locked loaded and we are headed to our first two locations and I get to ride shotgun with Bethany. Oh God. We can't go backwards. We need to go backwards. We do not need to that go backwards. That would have been like a really good ride <laughs> off into the sunset moment. <laughs> from our, our people who support us to help us feed feral cats and so may Merry Christmas <laughs> how much can you how much can you take on because we, we have more than this if, yeah. if you can store have a place to store it inside yeah. you do all right let's get a whole basement got a whole okay. basement can we bring it in for you or yeah all the way well no it's up under the house i don't know it's dirt well, up under the house so under the house they'll be able to get into these okay. yeah we have a lot so i mean what we can do is start you with this and then just bring you more later yeah what in the world what are you the hell? Is i told you <laughs> when i go into major surgery on the 20th of this month oh i don't know I'll be in ICU for a while, but my mom's going to feed the cats and take care of them, but I got to have all this freedom. Well, at least the cat the cats are taken care of so you can recover well. I'm sorry. Don't be sorry. You're fine. Thank y'all so much. You're so You're welcome. We're going to keep on moving. Okay. <laughs> I love y'all so much. Y'all have done so much for me. You have no idea. We're here to help. Trying to help get the cats tamed. You don't know how much I appreciate this. Well, we appreciate you willing to be taking care of the cats. Yes. Yeah, so. Oh my God. Well, we're gonna con continue unloading here. Mm -hmm. I just can't. Okay. Thank y'all. <laughs> <laughs> well, Thank you. Look at that. <laughs> I didn't that know is these are all donations. Almost and that, my friends, is why we do this. <laughs> because they just need a little help sometimes. Yeah. Mission two. Yeah, he's tips. So we didn't, no one answered the door. So we are just gonna go ahead and unload a bunch of donations for them. How are you? We're good. We got a bunch of food donations from all the supporters who support us for feral cats and we were gonna drop off a bunch of food for you. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Well, we'll just go ahead and unload on, on your porch if okay, that's cool. That's fine. Awesome. Okay. Well, thank y'all. You're, You're so welcome. welcome. You're welcome. Thank you. This is location two. Okay, that was location number two. And at the beginning of this, I told you guys that some of these people will actually feed the cats before themselves. And every single one so far has said, yep that they will not eat if their cats aren't eating and they will spend that money on the cats. So they don't have to worry about that for quite a long time. Really? Yeah. So we're on to our third location. We're going to Britta's Colony, Britta and Aussie. Yes. They feed about 15 cats, mm -hmm. would you say? Yeah. And yeah, that's, uh, I don't know if that will be the end of the day. We may go back, but we'll Possibly. see what, we'll see. 
see the schedule is. We'll uh, see you there. All right, we are at our third and final location, which is Britta's colony. I think they knew we were coming because all the cats have hidden. Ay, ay, ay. <sighs> okay, well, uh, Britta's colony feeder said that she was good, so we are gonna pay it forward. And actually, if you've been following uh, me on Instagram, or if you've been following Bethany on TikTok, then you know about Sir Chomp, and you also know about Ezra and Kanan, who are still at her house. We're still up for adoption, by the way, if you are looking to adopt two perfect little, yes. two perfect little babies. We are gonna go to his colony and deliver the food there, see if they need any. But yeah, it's been a very successful day. It really has. Love it. On to the last one. didn't answer so we're just gonna leave some food and hopefully get in touch with the neighbors or something or just give them some food. I guess we could probably leave it down here. Yeah. Like on the bench. Yeah. Looks exactly, oh, actually it's mostly white. It was a great day. Okay, well that wraps up our first round of deliveries for our feral cats. We will be out trapping tomorrow, so we'll bring some of the food to where we're trapping tomorrow and get them all set up. Uh, I just wanna say thank you guys so much. We couldn't do this without you, and because of you guys, these colony feeders, these people who love and take care of these animals, they don't have to choose between feeding themselves and feeding their cats um, for probably the rest of the year, if not early into, or late into next year. And that's all because of you guys and your donations. If you ever want to support Miss Dixie's or the work that I do or the work that we do, everything is always linked below. Um, you can become a monthly donor to Miss Dixie's Kitten Rescue. You can donate one time. That's all linked below. We have all of our wish lists. I mean, whatever you want to do, it is there, I promise. But we appreciate you. Thank you so much. And I will see you on the next video. Goodbye.